Ladies and gentlemen, federal employees, I'm sure you have noticed that over the last few months, you have a new TSP website, you have new TSP options, things have changed, and I probably don't need to be the one to tell you, it has not gone very smoothly. Today we're gonna to be talking about the things that went wrong and the things that are hopefully getting better and what to expect in the future. If you are new here, my name is Dallin Hawes, a financial planner serving you guys as federal employees to help you guys get the most out of your retirement benefits, whether it be your TSP or your pension or everything else. I've got tons of incredible videos on the channel. Definitely check those out with anything to do with maximizing your federal retirement. So today, again, like I said, we're going to be talking about what went so wrong when it came to this new TSP website and everything that came with it. Because I have seen a lot of comments. I've seen a lot of people that have been incredibly frustrated with this new system. So what went wrong? Well, there's a couple things, right? Off the top, the system basically forced everyone to create a new sign-in. Now, there were some hiccups, which there tends to be always hiccups when it comes to technology and getting any new systems in place. And so what does everyone normally do or most people normally do when, when there is a hiccup? They call, they call the support line. Now, what the new TSP provider contractor plan for is like, okay, we understand that with this change, we're gonna get a lot of calls. And so what they had planned for is two times the am amount of call volume than the TSP has ever seen before. That is what they planned for and structured their business for. However, they ended up getting six times, six times more calls than the TSP has ever gotten on a single day. That is the sort of volume that they were dealing with. So as I'm sure many of you know, the wait times for calling to the TSP were atrocious. And it was a pain. It was very, very much a pain, which just made the issues even worse. But those really were the core issues where, of course, you have a new website, so people have questions about how do I do this, how do, how, how do I do that, which then just further adds to the call volume and the confusion and the total dissatisfaction, right? But the good news is, the average wait time has come down significantly and 81%-ish of all calls are answered within 20 seconds now. So that is all great news. Now, my perspective is certainly not your perspective. I'm not a federal employee. I'm a financial planner who helps federal employees. So I help people use the website, but I'm certainly not a federal employee myself. So I'm curious, if you're a federal employee, if you've used this new system, put in the comments below, what has your reaction been? My reaction has been, yes, it's new, it's different, it certainly works differently, but overall, there's a few th key things that I think are super important moving forward. First, the TSP system in the past was very outdated when it comes to just their counterparts of other financial institutions, 401ks, et cetera, and there was things that really needed to be automated and to be more streamlined, which they're working on, and that's gonna be a priority moving forward. So right now, is it perfect? No, not even close, not even close to perfect, but because they are prioritizing, trying to make things, some processes more smooth, easier, less paperwork heavy, and more online, makes a huge difference. So over the course of time, doing things on the, T on the TSP website and overall, it's gonna be so much easier, is my overall thought. So overall, I think it was a good change. Now in the short term, it is gonna hurt. It's gonna take time to get used to the new website, the new system, all of those things. Now, there's a few things I don't necessarily agree with, whether it is the mutual fund window, which you can certainly check out my other videos on that, how the vast majority of the time you should keep your money out of that, basically, um, yeah, forever, right? I don't think there's any reason to get in there, but you can certainly check out my full thoughts um, on those videos about that. So overall, those are the things that went right and certainly things are improving. And over time, things are going to get better. They certainly have gotten a lot better over the last couple months, just in my experience. But again, I'm curious about your experience as a federal employee, what it's been, what are your thoughts on the new TSP website, the new things you're able to do, please put in the comments below and we'll all learn and get better together. So if you're new here, there's tons of great resources for you to maximize all your federal benefits, whether on the YouTube channel, on the website at hawsfederaladvisors.com, incredible calculators and resources and guides in the description below. Tons of things so that you can maximize your benefits and get the most out of them. Have an incredible rest of your day. I'll see you next time.